Um, hi. Do you want the best players on the game? Wait, do you want the best player on the game? Bin off Ronaldo, get D money, get all the D money. So lads, if you want millions of coins, make sure you go check out my friends MMOGH, top link in the description down below. And make sure you use the code this for a cheeky 50% off. And I'll see you guys in the video. Let's go. Yes. Yes, I know. My face is a mess. Fun fact of the day, I almost broke my nose yesterday. Yay! So yeah, so let's just get into the video. So in today's video, lads, I'm going to talk about something that no one else is really talking about. And it's something that could really impact EA. And can really end up impacting how the game runs. Something that China is doing that could potentially, maybe not in FIFA 18, but maybe the year after that, could dramatically impact it. Or could overly to reasons of why... The Chinese Super League is not even in FIFA 18, or it will be FIFA 18. This could change FIFA big time. And also because there's nothing to do on FIFA right now, so this is the least I can do. So this is a discussion video, so let me know down below in the comments your thoughts about this, and what do you think could happen in the future. So, let me get into this video. So, in the last few months, China has implemented some new gambling law, which basically means that games like Overwatch, League of Legends, CSGO, games like that that has like a loot crate system that you open, you spend money in the game, you open crates and you get items and like rare items and all stuff like that because it's such a big thing in China that they've made it so that those companies have to show the actual rarity and the actual odds of getting those rare items. And the reason why they haven't talked to EA in this because FIFA isn't really a big thing in China, or if anything, it's not a big thing in China. And people just don't really seem to care about it because there's only like one Chinese player in the game. Yes, you have China PR and stuff like that, but like on Ultimate Team, there's only one Chinese player. And maybe this is the reason why Chi like your know, EA has not implemented this Chinese Super League because if it becomes a big thing in China, people will start playing it in China and they start opening packs and they start giving EA, uh, EA money. China could end up enforcing the same law on them that EA has to show the actual odds of packing Ronaldo or packing a legend or just, just packing like an 82 plus rated player. They would have to show that. Now of course I'm not saying that this is the fundamental reason of why the Chinese Super League is not in FIFA um, because it's all licensing and stuff like that but this could play a part that imagine the impact on EA if we actually find out the actual chance of us packing a Ronaldo or the actual chance of us packing like for, for team of season or us packing a 90 rated team of season how much much of that actually impact. But let's let's put it this way, lads. Let's say if they show the odds of you packing the uh, Ronaldo in a 100k pack. Now I'm gonna use Ronaldo as an example because that's the kind of play that we all kind of want. Best player in the game, usually the most expensive player in the game, as like it's just normal card. And be using Ronaldo for this example. So let's say you find out the ch the chance of you packing a Ronaldo in a 100k pack. 100,000 coins, 2,000 fewer points. That 100k by equivalent to 13 pounds, 33 pence. If you do not have the EA access, that takes off like an extra like 5%. And even if you even if you do have it, that will take it down to 12 pounds. So imagine even without it, that 100k bag that you're spending 13 pounds, 33 pence on, you find out that the odds of you packing Ronaldo is like 0.5%, or maybe even less now. Like put it this way, lads, I haven't played FIFA Ultimate Team like full on since like FIFA 11. I wasn't like around, I was too young when FIFA 10 came out, that I was like just too busy playing career and stuff like that. And because I, I, I ended up getting just smashed in Ultimate Team because I was just, you know, I, was, I would have been about 13, 12 years old then. So imagine that since FIFA 12, I've never packed a Ronaldo until this year, but that was even on my actual account. Uh, me I haven't packed a Messi, haven't packed an Ebra, haven't packed a Robin. All these high rated level players, I haven't packed any of these, like, ever. So imagine that the actual odds of packing these guys, maybe people have more luck than others. I've only spent about. Altogether, from these last like FIFA's combined, it'll be way over like a grand. I mean, maybe one thousand five hundred, which is even that, which is even that much. Like, if you add up from FIFA twelve to FIFA seventeen, that's not even that much I put into the game. So maybe I don't even deserve to get a Ronaldo with those. So if you find out that that thirteen pounds that you spend on that hundred K pack, there's only a zero point five percent of you packing Ronaldo. Then would you even bother opening a pack? Let's change it to a different example. Let's say a seven point five K pack, a standard seven point five K pack, twelve items. Three rares in that entire pack. Now, let's say you find out that the odds of you packing a 82 plus rated player is about 5%. That means you've got to open 50 of them to get, uh, you know, probability wise, five 
83 plus minute players, and they would usually, you know, after like a week two into the game, will only be worth like 1,000, 2,000 coins, maybe even less than that. So, would he even bother opening packs? Now, some people would still open packs because, you know, maybe they're just loaded, maybe they just don't really care. But that would probably make a lot of people not want to put their money into the game. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because they can massively impact EA because EA makes so much money just from FIFA point transactions every single year. Now imagine if like if they actually release the actual odds that they will be forced to release if China gets something. Or even maybe if another company, like uh, gambling lovers, you know, it is gambling. We are gambling our money into the game, so they want to make it at least a fair chance of what's actually getting good players and stuff like that. That's what China's doing in their markets. So maybe a UK market can look at that. Maybe they may input the same thing. I don't know. Maybe if it's a China thing, so maybe if it gets big in China, then China will get onto EA and then they will release the odds in China networks and stuff like that. Maybe that's the reason why the Chinese Super League is not even in there because they don't want to make that a big thing because then they will have to show this stuff. They will stop getting the Chinese government and gambling law on them. So let's say that EA will one day have to release the odds of you packing one, you know, these high rated rare players or like a legend card or something like that and they actually do that and they suffer like a 20 25 percent like decrease in sales fewer points that's millions of pounds that they'll be missing out on because of this new gambling law and that's millions of pounds that they will be missing out on so what will happen then would they have to start making new things that like they can start selling to us like let's say um, for 2018 the world cup mode they start charging the world cup more than us saying that you know you have to like it's a 15 pound 19 19 pound 99 add-on to get the world cup mode what is that do so that or what is not using that like, career mode advantage or pro clubs stop putting little things in there that's microtransactions if they suffer a lot of money from this just by showing the odds, then they, they may have to go into other modes and implement things into that. Like, there's so many things that this could change for FIFA if it becomes a big thing. And that maybe this is a reason of why Chinese Super League won't be in FIFA. Because if it becomes a big thing in China, they will have to go into it because it's still gambling at the, at the end of the day. It's gambling law. Let me know down below in the comments what do you think. Um, it just maybe it just stop making me think about if you find out the chance of you packing like an 83 plus rated player in a 7.5 kit pack is like 5% or something like that, would you even bother? I know that FIFA right now is dead and like we gotta stop talking about these kind of things, but this is something that no one else has really has really brought up. And maybe because it won't it's not gonna happen anytime soon because it's only China that's implemented this right now, but maybe if over gambling laws in, in UK or US starts looking at that and because it's a massive thing in US also that maybe they may target EA at the same time so let me know down below what you think and make sure to smash that button if you guys did enjoy it's just a little discussion video that I don't really do these kind of often because I'm a, I'm a bit of a monk but it just started making me think and I want to hear what you guys think about this so let me know down below what you think and yeah lads hope you guys did enjoy thank you guys for watching my name is I'll see you Messed up.